Hey friends, I wanted to put a really quick video out. Breaking news that uh, several of the families from the Parkland uh, rampage killing in Parkland, Florida, where 20 people lost their lives in uh, a couple of years ago on Valentine's Day, the, there's been a settlement reached. Uh, these people sued Remington Arms uh, for $73 million, uh, or at least they, they, I don't know what they sued for, but they've reached a settlement for $73 million. This is, yeah, this is kind of those weird things about spilling the hot coffee and then suing McDonald's. What they did was instead of suing Remington directly for having, I guess, direct uh, liability for putting out a gun that kills people, they took a little bit different approach and they sued Remington for deceptive marketing practices. A little bit different angle on the whole thing. What that's going to do is open up some doors. They were saying that Remington was marketing the AR-15 that uh, it was basically a Bushmaster. Of course, Remington owned it, if you'll remember. <clears throat> they marketed the AR-15 by Bushmaster as a military style weapon or as a military weapon as a combat weapon um, as the court wording is uh, used so they're making it sound like instead of even though it's a commonly used firearm like the supreme court has announced they're making it sound like remington or bushmaster more specifically was marketing the ar-15 in question as being a combat weapon military weapon but marketing it to the general public, to civilians, but again, marketing it as a combat military weapon. I don't know what that does to marketing going forward in the firearm community. Um, I really don't, because that certainly opens up liability to anything if you see, like say a plate carrier, uh, um, anything, camo even, if, if you see anything that gives the appearance of some kind of a combat related. And I know it's stupid. I'm not supporting the, the lawsuit. I hope you guys don't think that I'm defending it. I'm just giving you the details around it. But it certainly makes it to where people are going to be very, very standoffish. It makes you wonder now if every single AR-15 that's marketed and probably any firearm in general that's marketed now isn't just going to be marketed as a self-defense firearm. Like you may start seeing ads where it's strictly, you know, showing them pulling the AR-15 out of a closet in a bedroom uh, to show that it's being marketed for specific self-defense in the home. Um, I think it changes a lot, but it obviously opens up the door to additional lawsuits and, of course, prior lawsuits. You know, if a gun going forward now is being used in any kind of a rampage killing where it's not the gun manufacturer's fault, but it's the wacko's fault who did the killing, then you're going to run the risk of, um, you know, people now wanting to just file a lawsuit simply because they pulled up an old ad in any kind of a magazine and saw where, um, you know, there was a combat look or something like that of an AR-15, even a Glock pistol, or well, I guess now it's a sick P3, uh, P320 pistol. But I think now you run the risk of that, you know, oh, let's go dig up some old magazines. Let's go dig up some old YouTube ads, uh, something like that, that shows that, aha, you know, now we have an AR-15 or a handgun or anything that now looks like it was marketed as a combat military weapon to the civilian marketplace. So really, really talk about a slippery slope. I mean, they've been wanting this for so long to be able to sue firearms manufacturers. And unfortunately, now it looks like it's going to do it. Guess where that cost is going to get passed on to? Us. The law-abiding gun owner is going to be who pays for this increase in insurance because insurance rates for these companies is now going to go up. So we're going to pay that increase. Whether the company is actually sued or not, their rates and their policies and all their overall coverage is going to have to go up because now insurance companies are going to see that they're getting exposed to a liability that probably didn't exist before or wasn't reasonably uh, worrisome before. And now, look, we have precedent that's being set. So just wanted to get this video out to, uh, to you guys real quick. I don't like the look of this thing. Uh, more information on this as it's uh, brought forth.